It's your boy, Chris, with the next. All right, so it's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope video to laugh to. All right, so as you know, like I said, I just started working again. Um, I got a new job. I've been training for it. And then I caught a fever. So um, that's why I've been away a while, because uh, because of the job. Then I got sick. Then scheduling time. But I'm back, and now I'm here. And um, one of the things I've been itching to talk about, because y'all know I'm, I talk about a lot about friendship. I'm big on that. And... I was watching a um, a sermon by In Touch with Charles, Dr. Charles um, Stansky, and he was talking about through your friendships, and I'm going to leave the link down below, because uh, he was talking a lot about stuff, and it really got my life about friendship. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I've noticed about, noticed that is people like to see you do bad. You got to watch people who say, joking shit, I mean, hating shit in a joking way, because I noticed when, you know, I didn't ha have work, and, you know, when you posting about bad stuff, you know, you have a lot of people, you know, still lurking on your Facebook or Instagram, or you have them, um, you know, they still follow you on all social media, because, you know, when you do bad, it strokes people's ego, it's like they get satisfaction out of it, because they doing bad, but they're not doing bad as you. And, you know, it strokes their ego, you know, it strokes it. Once I start posting happy shit, once I start posting, oh, you know, I got a job, you know, you notice that people start to follow you. I had two lurkers unfollow me just based off, you know, having a new job alone. And, you know, when people show you their true colors, don't go paint a different picture. You know, some people ain't meant to be in your life forever. Some people, if I never see your face again, it'll still be too soon. You know, you really, that's, you know, I'm big on that. And I don't know why people, and some people you can help out in this world. You know, you can give them your last dollar. You could treat them good as the way you want to be treated. You know, treat them like a real homie. And they will still, and they sh quick to show their ass out on you. But then the person who didn't help them, you know, they, they still trying to kiss their butt. You must be a real special kind of stupid. You know, you know, like I said, it strokes some people's ego when they see you doing uh, doing bad. When you get to their level, it's kind of like, oh, okay. But when you, once you get past their level, then that's when they have a problem with it. You're just like with this so-called person that I don't really speak to no more. I really avoid him because, um, you know, I told him about my new job. He decides to t he, he decides to one up me with his um, school, preschool, whatever j job he's doing, you know, just one uppers, you know, and like Doctor Charles Stansky said, he says, a true friend can you be happy, fully happy for somebody, even when you're not happy. AKA, can you be happy for somebody else's happiness, even when you don't have that, the thing that they have that you want, but you can still be 100% happy for them. You know, a true like he said, a true friend is someone who who sees who you are but wants to see the best you can be. And some people do not want to see the best who you can be. They they want to see you fall down and not get back up. But as soon as you get back up, they be the ones that ask for help. Have their hands out. Like fifty cents says, I don't know what you heard about me, but you can't get a dollar out of me. And you know, like the one of the reasons, you know, why I look, you know, crazy and you know festive in my videos is because it's like to those who mind don't matter and to those who matter don't mind the Dr. Seuss quote because you know a true friend a close because like you said casual casual friends you can get plenty you you get plenty of those and those are called acquaintances because friendship you don't get that title from me Quickly, I may call you a friend, but in my mind, you're your acquaintance until you show me some true friendship. But uh, real friends, intimate friends, those are hard to come by, and you need to keep them in your life at all times, uh, until the end of time, like Dr. Charles Stansky said. Because there's a lot of people who I've helped out, 
even recently, you know, you helped them out, and then they end up showing a complete ass on you, metaphorically, obviously. You know, just just acting out, being stupid. You know, blaming you for stuff. Um, you know, tell they roommate you drink they soda and whatever. You know, just all this you know phony shit. You know, like like I said, you must be a special kind of stupid. Because in this world, you, how many people you know gonna try to help you out? Gonna try to you without without asking something back? Cause you they give you money. It's like oh, when you gonna pay me back? Or if you don't pay them back, it's like oh, what you gonna give me? Your body? What what what? You know, ain't nothing free in this world. So when you got friends who actually treat you like a human being, not just because they give you free shit. Because you shouldn't be looking at a person at the ATM machine or getting free shit out of them. Because that says a lot about you. You know. You should um, cherish those people and keep them in your life. You know, you, and if you treat them badly and you have no more friends like that, don't go complaining or don't go saying, oh, well, life did me dirty. <laughs> no. Because that's your ass. That's your fuck up. Because you want it to be stupid. You know, you have no one to blame but yourself. And only yourself. So, like, if you know some people like that, just give them up, turn them loose. You know, the people will try to guilt trip you into a lot of things. Do not listen to it. Do not pay no attention to it. Just, you know, keep those who you love close to you. Because, like I said, family ain't always by blood. And true friends ain't always about how long you've known somebody. Because you could have known somebody for 15 years, and then that 16 year, they start acting up. They start acting an ass. Oh, yeah, well, we've known each other for 15 years. Oh, yeah, well, that's enough. That's long enough. That's forever. Because some people's definition of forever is different. Now, there's the real definition of forever. And then there's people's manipulation because like the Bible, they like to pick and choose what, what they want to believe in, what they want to honor and love and cherish. But it doesn't work that way. You reap what you sow. And everything you do will come back to you tenfold. Don't believe me? Mark my words. You ain't even got to mark my words. It's just called human nature. It's a fact of life. That's what happens. So you can, you can continue to be stupid or you can actually change and, you know, actually start respecting people who respect you, who take their time out, because time is precious. Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. You know, I'm not trying to be big on death or whatever, but again, the time is not promised to nobody. You know, quit postponing and quit, you know, doing people dirty. You know, that's just my take on it. Yeah, so any comments, questions, concerns, leave in the comment section below. Um, what uh, Other than that, yeah, like I was saying, you know, you have people who just don't, you have people who just evil. You know, it, like I said, it was stroking their ego once they knew, you know, I didn't have nothing or I was just penny pinching or whatever. And now I'm actually working, getting out there, and they starting to feel some type of way. And these are the lurkers on your Instagram or your phone contact. Like, I'm just done with people, in, in honesty. Because, like, who can you trust nowadays? Who's going to rock with you to the end? So, that's just my take on it. Anyways, this has been your boy, Chris with an X, on some real friend-ish. Uh, 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 uh. All right, peace.